Let's balance the equation for K2CrO4 plus HCl. This is potassium chromate. This is the chromate ion and hydrochloric acid. We'll also look at the states for each of these substances. So to balance the equation here, we need to count all of the atoms up. And I've already done that. The thing to be careful of here in the products, we have two potassium atoms here and one here. So two plus one gives us three. So we have three potassium atoms. And then for oxygen, we have seven here and the one here. Seven plus one, that gives us eight oxygen atoms. So you have to count those up correctly to balance the equation. I can see that I have three potassiums here and only two here. And I have two chromiums here and one here. I'm going to put a two in front of the potassium chromate. That way, two times two, that'll give me four. And I think I can fix that over here. And then one times two, I have two chromiums. They're balanced. Four times two, that'll give me eight oxygens. That balanced the oxygens as well. On the product side, I have two potassium here. I could put a two in front of the KCl. That way, two plus two times one, two, gives me four. I've balanced the potassiums. Two times the one, that will give me two chlorine atoms. But now it looks like if I put a coefficient of two in front of the hydrochloric acid, one times two, that balances the hydrogens. One times the two, that gives me two chlorines. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So the key here, really, make sure you count up the potassiums correctly and the oxygens at first when you try to balance the equation for K2CrO4 plus HCl. If you want to know the states, they look like this. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.